Hey guys, so today I'm going to start to make a video about doing a uh, modification on a cube. Um, I don't know how it's going to go. It may go very good or it may be a disaster and everything will go wrong. But if you're seeing this, uh, hopefully it went somewhat decent. Um, so I'm starting off with a Diane MF8 4x4 white and all the layers are functional. Basically what I'm going to do to it is I'm going to make it into a 2x4x4 so that um, cuts off two of these layers so it makes so these two are bandaged like so so there's only one layer in the middle so I'm gonna make the cube black so I'll show you what I have so I got three by three stickers extra three by three stickers which I'll just cut to um, make the four by four stickers I got this Dremel so this will be used for sanding down pieces um, I got this epoxy putty which will be used to replace the plastic that gets shaved off and make it a flat surface again. Um, I got this glue to uh, glue together the pieces originally. And then I have a can of black spray paint to make the cube black. So basically I'll zoom up here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the edge piece and the uh, center piece and glue them together right there. And I'm going to do that for the whole uh, yellow side. So every yellow uh, piece will be glued to the piece below it, and same goes for the the uh, black side as well. Okay, so I'm going to start gluing the pieces together to bandage them. Um, you can see that I've already done an edge piece right here. So I have the edge and the center. And I know it looks really goofy that I'm wearing these gloves, but the super glue, if it touches your fingers, it'll stick to skin instantly. That's what it says. So I'm just going to glue it here. So this stuff sets pretty quickly, so I'm just going to put a good amount of pressure on it, and all right. So I have uh, glued all these together, and now I'm going to let them dry for a solid half an hour, an hour, and then put the puzzle back together. Okay, so I've put the puzzle back together, and as you can see, this top layer now is completely bandaged. The middle layer still works, and the bottom layer, the yellow layer, is also bandaged, so there's no way you can turn the top layer. Um, but then all the other sides turned in independently. So that is the mechanism for our 2x4x4. So I've completely destickered the cube. Um, now what I'm going to do is, you can tell that um, these layers are bandaged, this top one and the bottom. So I'm going to make it so the middle can't move, um, so that when I'm sanding it down, it's exact. So I just need to make sure that it's perfectly square on every side. And then I'm going to take this piece of scotch tape, and I'm going to put it just on the inner layer, so the inner of what will be the two layers and that'll just make it so every single layer is bandaged now so I can't turn anything on the cube and now I'm going to begin the sanding process with the Dremel alright so this is how the Dremeling process is going so far I really don't know if I'm even doing this right but I'm trying to make it like sloped on all the sides, the only problem is these stupid corner pieces have a screw in them so I'm really not sure how I'm going to get that out um, I tried pl um, using pliers to get it out but it's not really working so I'm just going to try to keep sanding it but Okay, so I've kind of got both sides done here-ish. You can see that some, they're not exact. This one's not exact by any means. The screws are still getting in the way, but <laughs> the stupid Dremel head sandpaper came right apart like that. Because I was just pushing it a little too hard. Okay, so this is a very rough shape, like very rough but this is generally what the puzzle is going to look like 
and you can see I can rotate most of the layers. Some are locked off by melted plastic, but most I can turn just fine. So I've got the Dremel uh, to most of this now. I've got it really down. If you see, uh, shrunk it at least a couple millimeters. Um, obviously, it's not going to be anything like tri or tripooms work, but um, you know it's still it's looking all right. Um, now what I'm doing is I'm starting with low grit sandpaper and I'm just um, sounding the top, randomly scrambling it, so turning the outer layers, inner layers, and then sanding it again. And I'm just going to keep doing that until I'm relatively happy with it. Well, the puzzle's definitely taking shape. Okay, so here's how I'm doing the putty. Cut off a slice with the knife. Sure hope I have enough to finish here. Then I'm going to knead the putty. About that big or something. And then just put it in your gap that you want to fill. So I'm filling the corner here. So I just get it all in there. And the okay, so guys, I've also sanded down my first layer. It's my very first one. And I mean, it's not perfect, obviously, but it's still very good. Like when you look at it from a distance, it looks pretty pillowed. Um, so I kind of I got my first row of the putty here in the first row. And now I'm just going to kind of work down the side. I also do these very little, I don't know if you can see that, but the very little middle ones that just fill those with a little bit of putty. And um, then I just kind of you know, sculpt it with these gloves, like just kind of rolling down. And then let it dry and then sand it for a final finish. Okay guys, so I have both sides uh, puttied. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this ultra fine sandpaper here. Just make sure I'm in the shot. And um, just give it a finish. It's going to be nice and smooth. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to dye it. So I got this rich dye. And then I got some acetone. Which basically it's going to make it an acid bath. So it'll help with the dyeing process. Um, I kind of saw this off of Crazy Bad's video. And I decided to go from there. But um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to mix it in like an old plastic container, like a yogurt container, and then put the pieces in there, let them soak for like 25 minutes, and um, hopefully they'll come out all black. It's going to be drifting around the house. I'll just put it outside or something. No, what, you can't make that here, because I'll smell it. Hey guys, so I've run into my first problem with this mod, and that is the die didn't work. It didn't hold to the plastic. So you can see what happened here is that it stuck to all of the epoxy putty that I had used, but didn't stick to the original plastic. And I had even sanded the plastic down, just didn't stick to it, so I don't know what's up. And I'm noticing all these imperfections on the camera, but... Anyway, if you're wondering why it's going back and forth, it's because I'm on a hammock. Anyway, what I'm going to do is I bought a can of spray paint. It says bonds to plastic. And the, the, the original can didn't bond to plastic, so this one does. And I'm just going to go nuts and hopefully it doesn't stick the layers together. And hopefully it turns the thing black and I can be finished with this project. So guys, it's been almost 24 hours here, and I'm going to show you a few things that have happened. First, the puzzle is a very nice glossy black. Looks pretty good. 
Um, second of all, the side that was on the newspaper, there's a little bit of paper stuck to it. I'm just hoping I can sand that off. Third, the layers have um, stuck together a good amount. But what I'm hoping is that I can just break it in. Now every layer does require pretty good effort to turn. When I first picked this puzzle up, I thought I was hooped because literally every single layer was almost impossible to turn, but I've just worked it in a little bit, and you can see that. Okay, so um, I've lubricated the layers and after the spray painting, and they actually turn fantastic. Um, everything turns great. The only problem is that when it shape shifts, I didn't want to spray paint the inside, so I just used a sharpie on the inside, and it looks really bad, but hey, what can you do? So guys, I finally get to use the stickers that have been dwelling here uh, for forever now, it seems. It's only been like a week, but... Uh... Okay guys, so I got all these uh, side faces on. It's looking pretty good. 4x4 four four stickers that I had lying around. I'm not sure if I'm even going to use them or not. I think I'm just going to use them to put on the centers of these guys. Um, and that's it. So the top seems like it's coming alright. Um, kind of just putting the stickers on there and just letting them round themselves. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the finished 2x4x4. Two by four by four. And, oh my god, this took so many hours of work, it's actually just ridiculous. Um, of course, there's many, many imperfections. But guys, this is my first mod. Maybe my last. <laughs> we'll see. Um, I'm just, oh, I'm so happy it's done. This mod cost me about 80 bucks in total, and I'd say like a good 10 hours of time. So if you're willing to put that into a puzzle, um, and you know, go for it. Um, so let's scramble it up here. You can climb a mountain, you can swim the sea, or find the cure to some disease, and break every record in the book you see, yeah. When you're gone, who's gonna miss you when you're gone? Did you live it right? Or did you live it wrong? Who's gonna miss you when you're gone? That's not bad. See, it's a little shape shifted there. So yeah, they're just the finished product. Thanks for watching this video. If you could give me a like, obviously I went through a lot of effort and had some fails in there. Um, I would love that. Thanks.